So could you just start by stating your name and then tell us why you're running for school board? Okay, my name is Marcelino Lopez, and uh, I live here in East Palo Alto for the past 51 years. So I came in, my, bro my father brought me here at, when I uh, was May 20, 1967. And uh, 16 years ago, uh, I was fighting to the, with the district because I didn't like what uh, my kids, my two kids was getting. So, so I, I got together with a couple of parents and I started running for the school district to try to, because I didn't like what was going on and the lack of help we were getting as a parent. So then we have the, the lawsuit and the parents have for the special ed. You know, RCEP. The RCEP. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we thought that maybe that should stop because it was spending too much money on, on the lawyers and courts. So that's when I first came in. And thank you to the public, to the community. The, the three of us came in and tried to, supposed to clean things up, you know. And then uh, we still negotiating the, the RCEP. Uh, we wanted to get off. So, but uh, to the experts, they said it's like uh, swimming from the Golden Gate to the Hawaiian Islands. You know, that was uh, that easy to get off. Uh, thank God, and the uh, four terms I'm being here, we are out. But uh, the reason I'm running now is because it's still checking on us. And uh, we work so hard to get uh, the whole community, the district, everybody, all the employees, and people help us to get off of, out of this uh, consent degree. That we, I feel then I, I should try it again for this time to, to make sure this is a, uh, we spend like a, the district has spent like $44 million to this course. So it's very expensive, but uh, the kids deserve that. And uh, it seemed like uh, there's some publicity from uh, our, instead of helping us, our uh, person in the city uh, start complaining about the superintendent. You mean, are you referring to the mayor? Yes. Okay, Ruben and uh, Is, uh, you know, instead of helping, I has been asking him a couple of times and let's work together. But uh, he has been against, I don't know if it is the district or against me for the past 16 years. But anyway, we can deal with that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, there's two things I wanted to, make sure that we don't have to go back to, the, to this expensive nonsense thing by not providing education to the kids in need. You know, because uh, it's expensive. We have three students that cost us, cost the district $103,000 each, you know. But I think it's worth it because the kids have a chance to, to be to have a better life, you know? So that's why I wanna try again because it seems like a, a lot of people don't understand what the superintendent has been done under our rule. You know, as our parents are so easy to convince other ways, other ways because uh, if somebody like uh, the mayor is telling them something, even though he knows how the district work, so, it's, it's sad, to me it's sad, because one time I thought he was like Cesar Chavez to me. But then when I see what really he is, it's, it's uh, sad for me. You know? But anyway, we are here to, 
to make sure the kids get a good education. Uh, we tried for two years working on it to get a, a middle school, which I think is is cutting is going to be cutting the the when the students feel frustrated in high school and they get up, you know, give them an opportunity to, I mean, it's win-win for everybody, especially for the kids. The education, I mean, you can, uh, to me, the education is the number one thing, I mean, to survive in this country, in any place, but mostly here, then there's more opportunities, you know, than any other country, especially the ones we come in from. So that's why I, I wanted to have empower the parents. Fortunately, we are in a very sad situation where our, most of our parents cannot afford the rent. So they had to be with one or two families, three families together. So our kids don't have a place to do their homework. Uh, it's hard and, and we lose in maybe over a thousand kids because the situation we are with the rent. What so, do you see as the most pressing issue facing the school district right now? Well, right now is, is the try to educate the kids. This, this is the most important, but this issue, we cannot, we, we, can, we can only suggest it, but we cannot do much about the cost of rent. You know? But you think that sort of the, the displacement of families and the rising cost of housing, that's... Yeah, especially we have so many homeless. I mean, and we try to, to help them by giving them uh, some, giving them where they can take a shower, where they can wash their clothes, you know. And, and then next month, next group of families and, and do those things. You know, that's... Try to help them because uh, I know it's, it's hard, especially now. Then you cannot park outside, uh, especially when when it's in uh, it's one of those streets where it's more commute. And I understand it's a uh, it cloud the, the city, so we we have like a, a little bit over two thousand five hundred students. So then. We had to check on the. We had to make sure the the students have enough teachers, you know. And our teachers, uh, the majority, are highly qualified, highly committed. But you only need few that doesn't want to work. And that that said, fortunately, they have a pretty strong union, and uh, we need an act of Congress to <laughs> get rid of them. But uh, we. We need to we need to find a way to encourage them. Then the damage we do to our kids, then so we don't edu educate it. You know, they they need to be ready to compete in this world. And we are in the the center of the jewel of the economy in this country. You know, either way you look, is billions and billions of dollars and we're starving for food. That's sad. But it's because lack of education. You know? And that another thing is that I like to keep empowering the parents because we need, we need the parents to support us. And uh, unfortunately, it's pretty hard for them to, to have a place for the students to do their homework, to help them you know, when they have to do two, two jobs. So it's pretty tough, but I think uh, I think at least the district we can we can uh, work hard. We have a very good superintendent that uh, only two or three people criticize her, but uh, they don't know what she's doing. But I know, I know that she's working very hard. If if you asked. Uh, for example, the superintendent of the San Mateo County, Mr. Campbell, asked how we're doing it, you know, compared to somebody who doesn't only try to criticize us. You know, so I think we're doing good. Unfortunately, we are so low, 
then it's, it's hard to, to accomplish a lot. But now I think with this uh, uh, middle school, the kids are the same right away, then I have more opportunities for, for uh, be somebody in life, help their families. So for people in the community, um, whether they're parents or um, teachers who work in the school district who have expressed frustration with um, you know, the leadership or changes, um, you know, that there was the teacher's vote of no confidence last year in the superintendent and some upheaval this year over her, her contract. Um, what would you say to those people in the community who are looking at well, you know, voting I, for the I school I think they, they should know, because it's only take a few, a few, like I said, a few teachers. You know, a few teachers too. But all those teachers, last two years, they got 7% raise, 6% raise in two years, was 13% raise. Those are the ones who complain about it, you know. The district, unfortunately, cannot afford to pay them more. We're spending like 60, 16, or a little bit over 16,000 for each children each student, so I know we, at that time, I was kind of, when they, the superintendent said, we have the money, let's give them a raise. And I was kind of concerned about it, because they're going to go on another level, and then we have to get money and, and raise in the future. But I said, when they said, hey, we have the money, let's do it. So, okay, let's do it. But I was skeptical like this that time because it was never got that amount, thirteen percent in two years. So I know they deserve better. And uh, unfortunately we cannot uh, give them housing, you know, because we cannot afford it. I mean especially when a little house costs three thousand dollar a month for plus food, plus clothes, plus utilities. I mean it's it's it's, it's very hard. It's getting hard. So even if you disagree with people who are more critical of the school district, if you're reelected, how would you rebuild sort of trust and bring those people in with people who have different, you know, bring people well, together who have different opinions? Okay. I, I know a lot of parents are complaining. And because my 16 years, everybody had my telephone number. You know? <laughs> so I get a lot of phone calls. And they complain and put it nasty, you know. So I tell them, because... Our mayor say, where you put a million dollars? Where you put a million dollars? Uh, public. So they think the uh, superintendent stole the money. I said, he knows how the system works in the schools. But I invite parents who are complaining. I said, hey, I tell you where the money goes. And I tell you the, what we're doing. But when I tell them, they, they agree on that. You know, I tell them. Look at this is the superintendent doesn't spend any money without we approving it. That that goes to the county, San Mateo County, and then everyone who work and get get uh, so much, they get a check from them. The superintendent doesn't grab any money. So come to us. We, because we we the one who approve it, and we ask questions, you know, and then the county come and do check on everybody. I mean, all the the superintendents, the all the, the places we have spend money, they come and check and do uh, check it out to see if we if they misleading or misusing the money. So, do so, you think there is? Sort of trust rebuilding that needs to happen, or are you? Or well, no? I think I think some some uh, some uh, won't, won't trust us anymore, you know. And then I'm sorry for that, but uh, I think right now the district got in a good shape. They unfortunately some this thing come up because they come. Hey, somebody with this knowledge. I mean, it's our mayor, and he come and and accuse the superintendent of misusing the money. So, hey, nobody is perfect, but we, whatever we approve, that's, whatever we approve, we, we, that's uh, how they, we spend the money. But we, we need to approve. Yeah. 
Is there anything else you'd like to add about your, your campaign? Well, I think it's uh, the people know me already. And uh, I just, like my promise is that I've dedicated the 16 years in protecting the kids and have them try to be somebody in life. I think the community knows me, then I'm not here for the money. Uh, it's, uh, I never want to take advantage of anybody. All the executives that work for the district, I ask them, I tell them to treat everybody with dignity and respect the way they will be treated. I believe in the evaluations because uh, it's not only to punish somebody, it's to let them know what they're doing good and what they're missing, you know, what we need. I think if lack of communication is, is, uh, is that sometimes uh, we try to use uh, different ways, but I know my people, you know, they get sometimes uh, notice, they get it. Ah. But I'm happy I'm, because the community was helping us the, you know, we got uh, in June, you got uh, measure C, $70 million, you know, 69%. We got the parcel tax, that too. You know, and then the, the last one, too, we got the, the most voting percentage to approve a measure. So, People know then, then we need our schools to be decent, uh, prepared for our students. And, and again, we're doing a lot of things that nobody ever can do, like uh, the, the court orders. You know, they said it's impossible. There's only one district in New York with maybe 10% of our, our needs, our, a request, but other than that, no one in the nation has been pulling out, and we did it. Why? Because the student, the everybody helping us, not because we, me, Marcelino Lopez, did it. No, I'm probably the last one, but I, I thought our need, uh, kids need the money who was spending on lawyers. I can say $44 million for this, over $44 million. It's too much for this. And the kids need it. So um, that's why I'm asking if they still believe in me. You know, it's, it's uh, they can vote for me. The other way, I will retire, like I already did in my former jobs a year ago. So I retire, but I, I don't like the honeydew, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, I will be so still doing it, but just. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm I'm happy, and this is my my. This, this is mine, the, the East Palo Alto, East Malo Park. It's mine. I mean, my my people, my living here 51 years, and I can. It's, I love it. Mm -hmm. I go different places, and I don't like it. Like it's, my daughter invited me to Florida. Uh, <laughs> my my daughter invited me to. To. Center Valley, say no, thank you. <laughs> I love the weather, everything is beautiful, except the traffic. <laughs> but I hope one day, one day they Seriously. find a way. So, and again, I like to work together with whoever want to work for our kids, you know, because okay. that's the most important for us. Great, thank well, you. thank you so much. Oh, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Oh, no, anytime.